coming. Yep. Okay, well the day's here, so we're gonna start with the bees. Picked them up last night, and I'm gonna move the nuke here off of the front, off of the box, off of the base. Now I've gotta put the base on. Make sure it's on there good. And then we're gonna get into the bees. So we're gonna smoke them a little bit first. Kind of calm them down. Exciting people, I tell you what. So we're just going to pick them up one at a time, make sure the bees aren't in the way. Looks like we've got some burk on, so these things have really been working hard. And so we're going to pick them up here. Look, oh boy, all sorts of nectar on these, uh, they're real, seem to be real calm. <clears throat> so the nectar, we're gonna put them in there just in the order in which, they, which they're already in. It's real important, everybody that you talk to says you gotta put them in there the order, the exact order they came. Larvae down in here. That's good. Hopefully, we're we'll running into the queen on the next one. Oh, got cat brood here. That's good. That's good to see. Still no queen. Yeah, we got larvae, so that's that at least tells you that you've got a queen somewhere. Probably look like some eggs, maybe, in some of these frames. So she's either on the next frame, or she's already missed her. She's sometimes they'll crawl on one side as you go on the other. hoping to spot that queen, but I just don't see her. But you know she has been here because of the, of the brood. Bringing in pollen this morning, that's good. She could be under this cluster. There's a pretty good uh, reared of bees in here. She could be under them. The nurse bees are usually the most docile because they're, they're uh, just protecting the queens, all they want to do. Whereas the foragers are the ones that will get out and 
and uh, and do their thing, you know, and also protect the hives. So uh, let me look again. My suspicion is she would be on this one because it's the center frame. Lots of pollen on these babies. There she is. You probably can't see her, but she's right there. There's a yellow dot on her back. So we're going to bundle this up since we found her. I was pretty sure she was there because of the, of the brood. Then we'll send her up box here <clears throat> and now we'll get the feeder on it feeder shim and of course we didn't bring the feeder up the feeders here but they don't have any uh, syrup in it so I'll come back and do that in a little bit we do them on the other hive. So we're gonna, for right now we'll just leave that like that and we'll go on to the to the next hive. Do you want me to? I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Well, I'll go get it. You just here. Okay, let me have this now. I don't, I don't know if it's video or not. Yeah, this hive has been the most active all day long. So. We'll see. Set it on top there. My assistant is bringing the smoker. 